So, if you have not heard yet, we have some big news on a great interval video movie. Um, Bonnie Wright, the girl who plays Jenny in Harry Potter, has been rumored to be playing Gemma Doyle. Which, um, the article is... Uh, it's... I'll, I'll link it in the side, but it says... Bonnie was also heard mentioning a new project she was looking to get involved in, called The Great and Terrible Beauty, playing the lead role as Gemma Doyle. And it just says, you know, it's icon productions and everything. Um, so... I'm sorry, I look like crap, too. Ugh, just, my hair's still wet and I don't have any makeup on. But, well, I don't care. But, yeah, so... Um... Yeah, like... I woke up this morning... I woke up around 12 because I stayed up till like 2 talking on chat Z with Ash, Becca, and Steph. Well, we kind of like chatted and stuff. And um, and like I woke up at 12 and then Ashley texted me and said that there was big news on the Great and Terrible Beauty boards. And I'm like, no way. Because I had just finished a book. I just finished a book this morning. And I didn't have the internet. My brother wouldn't let me on. So I like took a shower. I was like, I need to get my mind off this. And I couldn't get my mind off it because I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening? I don't know what it, what the news is. And then I got on, and I went on the boards, and it said that uh, Bonnie Wright could be Gemma. And at first, I was kind of like, I didn't know what to think. Like, I didn't know what the news was, like, if, if it was about casting, or if they just completely, like, or if they weren't even, like, gonna do the movie. I didn't really know what... I figured it would be on casting. I didn't know if it would be on Kartik. I thought, I, at first I thought it was, would be on Kartik. Karthik. Or Cataract or whatever. And it wasn't. And then it was on uh, Bonnie being Gemma. And stuff. So yeah. So as you guys know, I really, really, really badly want unknowns for the girls. Especially Gemma. Because... Um, Libba wants them. Uh, there, there is more, I think there's the known actresses, like, it, I don't know if Bonnie is a big fan of A Great Terrible Beauty, but she inter it said she interested getting the part of Gemma, so she must, she might at least, I don't know, she might be in love with Gemma and know Gemma like the palm of her hand, like some of these girls in the IMDb board, so I'd rather get Gemma than Jenny. Bonnie. I'm not, and I've never read Harry Potter, so I've only seen one movie with Jenny, and it was Order of Phoenix, but I didn't really see her act at all. And I've seen Stranded when she was younger, and she was so cute in that. She's like a mini Gemma, I guess, apparently. Well, like, in that movie, you know, she was more attuned. I don't know. It's weird. Um, another problem I have is that open casting calls, I really want them to have that, because I want people that have that don't have the chance to become you know, amazing people, they could, like, they are so passionate, like, Bri, we have Bri, and then we have other people on the boards, Flora, we have Kelly, we have Caddy, we have so many people on the IMDb boards who are, who want to audition and get, are so passionate about these books, and they, they know the characters, like, the palm of their hand, like, they know the characters, like, they know themselves, because they related so much to them, who I'd rather audition and get the part, one of them. Um, and another problem I have is Harry Potter. Uh, what does this mean for Harry Potter? Does that mean that, like, maybe that, what's her name? Um, Ivana Lynch, who plays Luna Lovegood, will get the part of Felicity? Does that mean, I don't know, will Harry get the part of Simon in the second one? I don't know. I just, that's a big deal for me, too, is definitely... The Harry Potter thing, I think, more. And in that other people won't get the chance to audition. That actually deserve it more than other people. And that are more passionate about it. And that aren't famous. I just wish that they could do that. But, um... And I don't even know, like, if this is true. Like, it's just a rumor. That's all I'm saying. And I, I like Bonnie as an unknown, or a known, a lot more than Rachel Hood would. I'd rather have her as Gemma than Rachel Hardwood, definitely. And she's one of the best known Gemmas. I don't really know really any known Gemmas besides her. 
So, yeah. Now, some of the things I like about Bonnie for Gemma. Um, I like how she's British. She is... I think she's a pretty good actress from what I've, you know, kind of seen. And she's kind of unknown, but at the same time, there's Harry Potter fans who love her. And that are going to be like, oh, she's in that movie. I'm going to go see that movie because she's in that movie and everything. And I think that's a big deal, especially. And I would love to have unknowns for this book series because can you imagine the, mo the, passion, the passion that people have for these um, you know, movies, and, it, like, they're huge fans, and they, and they want, they love the characters, like, they relate to them so much, and they bring it to life, they, they execute it thoroughly, unlike any known who's just doing it, maybe to get more popular, or for money, or they're just like, oh, I need a role, you know, what it uh, and, you know, I'd rather have someone who's very passionate about it, who, who does look the role, who can act, who can do the British accent, and I know, a lot of people that act on the boards and they ha they look exactly like the characters and some of them are British and some of them I know could possibly do an accent. So that's the only problem I have. Sorry, kind of got off track about why I like her. Um, other things I like about her I think is her hair. Um, it's semi, it's like red but it's not, I don't know, I wish it would could be a little more redder. Um, she's the right age. Uh, she, I like her height is very good, I think. Her facial structure kind of is good, I think, too. Um, she kind of has a weird smile, but I think I could get past that. That's, like, the only problem I think I have with her face. She seems more, like, to be honest, she seems more of an Anne to me. Other things I like about her for Gemma are, I think, her eyes, I guess. With green contacts, I think they look good. Um, I just feel like she's really plain looking. I don't know. I'm on the fence about her still. I do kind of. I do think she's a good unknown Gemma, like I said earlier. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is people not getting the chance to have an open audition, like level once. Um, we could, if like like Bryce said, like she said something on the boards, and I'll post a link in the side that, uh, you know, if it would be a, it would be a hell of a lot of fair if they had open calls and she auditioned. If, let's say Bonnie Wright auditioned and there was a bunch of other girls, you know, let's say there's like a thousand other girls who auditioned for Gemma, um, or like 500. And if she proved, if, if they picked her over all those girls, then that definitely proves that she's one of the best Gemmas or the best Gemma that was there. But yeah. So, bye guys. I'll show some pictures at the end of this video. I love you and peace out.